Alright, in this video we're going to take a look at one of the last problems in the unit on elements and compounds for a grade 9 advanced science. It's called a laic acid problems. We did an experiment very similar to what you see in this first question. We have a solution of oleic acid, which is a fatty acid. It's prepared to be one part oleic acid in a 500 parts solution. In other words, a 1 mil of oleic acid in 500 mils of solution. A student took one drop of that solution and put it onto the surface of water. The oleic acid spreads out on the surface of water into a circle with a diameter, in this case, of 34 centimeters. The eyedropper that was used to put, <coughs> excuse me, to put the oleic acid on the water um, is one where you can get 40 drops of solution in one milliliter from that dropper. So in other words, 40 drops equals 1 mil. It's assumed that the oleic acid spreads into a monolayer, that is a, th a thin layer, one molecule thick. Oleic acid has a polar and a nonpolar part to the molecule. The polar part um, is attracted to the water, the nonpolar part is not. So the oleic acid spreads out on the surface of the water. Calculate the volume in cubic centimeters of one drop of the solution. Well, to do that, we're going to simply use this information. One milliliter is 40, 40 drops. So if we take one cubic centimeter, one milliliter, and we divide by 40 drops, we get the answer to this first question. One divided by 40 0 0.025 cubic centimeters per drop. Right. So there's the volume of one drop of the solution. Now that solution is not pure oleic acid. If we look back, at only one part in 500 parts was oleic acid. So what was the volume of oleic acid in that drop? So if we take the volume of the drop, 0 0.025 cubic centimeters, we multiply by 1 mil of oleic acid in 500 mils solution. We get 0 0.025 divided by 500, 5 5.0 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic centimeters is the volume of the oleic acid in that drop. And I'll make sure that is logical to you. Here's the volume of one drop of solution. That solution was not pure oleic acid. It was one out of 500 parts oleic acid. So divide this by 500 and you have the volume of the, ole of the oleic acid. What was the area of the circle? produced by the oleic acid. Well, its diameter was 34 centimeters. So the radius of the circle would be the diameter divided by 2, 34 divided by 2, 17 centimeters. So now if we take the formula for area of a circle, pi times radius squared, 3.14 times 17 centimeters squared, We get 907 square centimeters. So now what's the height of the oleic acid molecule? In other words, what was the thickness of the layer? The key to understanding this is that the layer, when it spreads out into a circle, forms essentially a cylinder. And we know the area of that circle, and we're wondering what's the height of the layer. So if we think of the volume of a cylinder, we get volume equals area times height, area of the base times height. Therefore, the height will equal the volume divided by the area. So we take the volume of the oleic acid, which was found in part B above, 5.0 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic centimeters, divided by the area of the circle, 907 
square centimeters. And I know I've got that set up right to give me centimeters as my answer. 5 times 10 to the minus 5 divided by 907 is 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters. Now you might be wondering why are we using the volume of oleic acid and not the volume of the drop. The solution that was that we applied to the water was made of <coughs> excuse me oleic acid with alcohol. The alcohol, which made up 499 milliliters of the solution, goes into the water. So the oleic acid is sitting on top of water. The alcohol, which was the solvent, goes into the water. So we have alcohol and water down here. The oleic acid is not soluble in the water, so it's forming a layer like oil on water. It's forming that layer on top. So the volume that we use is the volume of the oleic acid, not the volume of the solution that we used. Most of the solution was alcohol, and that alcohol mostly dissolved in the water. Here's a second problem, very similar. I'm going to switch from oleic acid to something similar, alpha linolenic acid. But it doesn't really matter. It's the same kind of experiment. You have a solution of this alpha linolenic acid. It's prepared to be one part the acid in 250 parts of solution, so it's a little bit more concentrated. A small pipette was used to put one drop of the solution on the surface of water, spread into a circle with a diameter of 24.5 inches. I noticed that right away. It's found that 50 drops from the same pipette provide one mil of solution. Pause the video if you think you know what you're doing and jump in and solve the problem. So the first part, what's the volume of one drop of solution? To, do, to get that, we're going to just use the fact that 50 drops gives one mil. So one cubic centimeter, one milliliter, divided by 50 drops is going to be 0 0.020 cubic centimeters. So there's the volume of one drop of solution. Now that solution is not pure uh, linolenic acid. There was only one, one mil in 250 mils, so one part in 250 parts. So we'll take this volume of a drop, 0 0.020 cubic centimeters, and we'll multiply by one out of 250. Now don't let the word part bother you here. Um, it could be one mil in, in uh, 250 mils. It could be one uh, liter in 250 liters. Because of that, it's just using the, the more generic word, one part in 250 parts. Okay, so if we take 0 0.02, divide by 250, we get 8 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic centimeters, there's the volume of the linolenic acid that was in that one drop. Now, what's the area of the circle? We know it has a diameter of 24.5 inches, so the radius would be half the diameter, 24.5 inches divided by 2, 12.25, or sorry, yeah, 12.25 inches. And we'll switch that to centimeters. So 12.25 inches. We'll get rid of inches, switch to centimeters. 2.54 centimeters in one inch. 31.1 centimeters. So there's our radius. The area, pi times radius squared, pi times 31.1 centimeters squared. And the reason I switched to centimeters is because we're going to want to find the height of the molecule 
then since our volume was cubic centimeters, we want the area in square centimeters. So 3,000, I'm going to keep a couple extra digits here, 3,037 cubic centimeters. Now what's the thickness of the layer? What's the height? As we saw earlier, volume equals area times height. Therefore, the height will equal the volume divided by the area. The volume we use is the volume of the acid, which was 8.0 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic centimeter. Divide by the area of the circle, 3,037 square centimeters. And we get... 2.6 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters as the thickness of that layer. All right, so there's standard problem, um, very similar to what we did in the lab with oleic acid. You can anticipate there'll be a question very similar to this on both the unit test and on the final exam for advanced science.